your ending? Well, like most people, naturally I did, but it wasn't going to make much difference to my life. Remember, I was in the country. I used to spend my time going riding and meeting my friends and having a good time, and it didn't really impact on us very much. So, like everybody, I didn't want any more people to be killed. I didn't want any more soldiers to be killed. And it would have been nice to us. You know, you could travel around more. You couldn't travel to France for holidays or anything like that. So, yes, I look forward to it, but it wouldn't have made a lot of difference, and it didn't make a lot of difference to my life. After the war, it was going a few years after now, the, re re the um, rationing went on in, in practically everything. When I was about 18, I started coming up to London to go to college, and London had been very badly bombed, and places you know that, were all, that I knew well later on were just bomb sites. They were where there'd been houses or big office buildings, and they'd just been knocked down. They'd cleared away all the rubble, all the bricks and everything, and there were like fields full of wild flowers in the middle of Fleet Street and places like that. So it was a bit bizarre. And they also, they, so many people had lost their homes, they had to find a way of, you know, finding somewhere to live. And they had a sort of a house called a prefab, which means prefabricated, which means they were made in a factory and brought down on big lorries. And they were very good little houses. They were small, they were bungalows. And people liked them very much. And until just a few years ago, when I am 18, there were some down the road at the Elephants and Castle, and they were still being lived in, and people didn't want to move. Mm -hmm. They were lovely. But I don't think there are any more left now. There might be some kept as museums. In fact, there were some at the Building Museum. We saw some there, which reminded me about them. But otherwise, you know, we're a long way away from the war now, and you've got to be pretty old to remember anything about it. And most of the soldiers that were fighting in it are very old now. So, you know, I'm nearly 85, so they'd be more like 95. So, they, you know, they're all around, but there are not so many of them. So, any more questions about after the war? Or, or going back to some of the stuff that we've talked about that we didn't quite, you know, get enough of. 